JLPT N5 Verbs. Part 3. Let's do this. Chigaimas means to be different, differ, or be wrong. Chigai sounds like cheese guide. Imagine a cheese factory guide who, to be different to other guides, dresses up in a giant cheese costume. Tsukaimas means to use. Tsukai sounds like two kites. Imagine a futuristic game where you have to defend yourself from drone shots by using two kites to block the shots. Naraimas means to learn. Narai sounds like Narnia and I. Imagine you go through your wardrobe to the land of Narnia to learn about things from a giant eyeball. Tachimas means to stand up or to pass time. Tachi sounds like touchy. Imagine a person with four arms and four legs who likes to stand up because it allows him to touch as many things as he can in the room. Machimas means to wait. Machi sounds like match, as in a match that you light. Imagine that you wait at a bus stop, but a giant match turns up instead of a bus. Mochimas means to have or to hold. Mochi sounds like mochi, a Japanese rice cake. Imagine that your prized possession is a Japanese rice cake that you hold in your left hand at all times. Adimas means to be for inanimate things. Adi sounds like alley. Imagine there is an alley and whenever anyone steps into it, they get struck by lightning and turned into a stone inanimate statue. Udimas means to sell. Udi sounds like the middle part of the fruit durian. Imagine you're selling the middle part of the durian without the spiky skin. You call it an Udi fruit. And you even make your head look like the fruit you're selling. Owarimas means to finish. Owari sounds like the letter O and the word worry. Imagine an O-shaped kid is worried about diving into a pool. His mom tells him to finish worrying and dive in the pool. Kaerimas means to return or to go home. Kaeri sounds like car and elephant. Imagine you are on your way home and your car breaks down. So, you get a lift back home on an elephant instead. Kakarimas means to take time or take money. Kakari sounds like car and curry. Imagine you go to a garage and ask them to cover your whole car in curry. They tell you it will take time and money. Kaburimas means to put a hat on. Kaburimas sounds like car and bully. Imagine a car-headed person going round bullying people. It fills hats with custard and puts those hats on people's heads. Garimas means somebody wants to do something. Gari sounds like the word garage. Imagine a garage-headed person who wants to fly. He jumps from one building to the other, intending to fly between the two. Kirimas means to cut. Kiri sounds like the word killy. Imagine someone who's a bit too keen on killing. They're a bit killy. They have a very big collection of knives and swords they like cutting humans with. Not nice. Komanimas means to be in trouble. Komani sounds like the word communist and marry. Imagine you marry a very, very, very strict communist and moves to their country. You find yourself in all sorts of trouble. Shimanimas means to close. Shimani sounds like the words sheep and marry. Imagine a wormhole vortex opens above your village. The village elders say that you have to marry a sheep, Shimani, in order for the wormhole to close. Shirimas means to know. Shiri sounds like the word silly. Imagine that you only know silly facts. For example, you know how many giraffes you would need to stretch from the earth in order to touch the moon. Suarimas means to sit. Suari sounds like soiree. Imagine a soiree that's so luxurious that the guests can sit down the whole party. If they need to go anywhere, they're carried around by robot servants. Tsukurimas means to make, form or cook. Tsukuri sounds like the word schooly. Imagine a designer who makes all of his clothes to look 
very schooly, very school style. Tomarimas means to stop. Tomari sounds like tomato and alley. Imagine that you want to go down an alley, but you have to stop because it's full of tomatoes, a tomato alley. Please let us know what you think. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time, I've been the Wacky Gaijin. Thanks for visiting.